Hey, you want to be in it? It's it's a really uh, fuzzy picture anyway. Uh, so it's it's going to be the Bacher show here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's in the foreground, and you can see a very small picture. There's Bacher. See? Okay. Uh, so I will say something, and uh, you try to report it uh, for the rest of y'all, and then. Um, I'll try to give about ten of these for to each of you, so uh, so I do this for other people. And after that, I might ask you some questions about uh, uh, unreal conditionals uh, that you're not going to be tested on. It's just so that I can get it on the recording and uh, more of a, more of a practice because we didn't really practice that this week. Uh, this is going to be the heart of your uh, uh, speech, the, the reporting thing. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and. Those papers, turn them over, or yeah, put them away if you can only. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, you won't be able to reference your notes. Um, you can look at the, uh, you know, everybody loves Raymond worksheet, but yeah, the rest of that you gotta put out of sight or something. All right, you got it. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Yeah, but so Sarah, uh, take advantage of this opportunity. Take advantage of this opportunity. What did I say? She, uh, you told uh, you told me uh, that take advantage of uh, that take advantage. Uh, I didn't see. Sure. Take advantage of this opportunity. Take advantage of this opportunity. Okay. Uh, uh, you you say uh, that take advantage uh, of what. Uh, it's okay. It's just hard to remember those words. By the way, you told me that take advantage. It's actually to take advantage. To. Right. It's an infinitive. Yeah. To take. So it turns into to take. See ya. So he's talking about that. Uh, okay. Yeah. So take advantage of this opportunity. You told me to take uh, advantage of that opportunity. Uh, again? Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah. Take advantage of this opportunity. You say to take advantage uh, um, about uh, 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 opportunity. 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 Okay. okay. Sounds okay. like it's a new word. Yeah. What, what, I don't know if that was that a vocabulary word. Maybe not. Maybe not to practice that one. Opportunity. Yeah, yeah, opportunity. It's hard to pronounce. It's hard to pronounce it. You know the word and you heard it. I don't know the pronunciation of it. Right? Yeah. Opportunity. Okay. One two three four five. Yeah. One two three four five. All right. Um. Ms. Olga, did <laughs> Ms. Olga, did she anticipate this controversy? Did she anticipate this controversy? What did I ask? No, after did she anticipate it? Yes, no. Perfect. There it is. Thanks. Right. Um, Ms. Perry, um, how does how does she transfer money? How does she transfer money? How does she transfer money? Yeah. Uh, what did I ask? Um, she asked how she transfers her money. Well, great, yeah. That's right. Take the to do verb out and how she transfers it. Her money. Past tense. Great, good job. Uh, okay, um, uh, Mr. Bacher, uh, why do you take issue with my ideas? Why do you take issue with my ideas? What did I ask? Why do you take take issue with my ideas. Oh, he asked that, he asked why I, I told you it is my your idea. Sure, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Well, you asked why I took issue with your ideas. So the pronoun is great. All right, ready to Sarah? Whoa, wait a minute. Sorry, uh, I, I, I know, yeah, you're, you're, you're setting up on it. All right, fine, I get it. Okay, so, Hey, um, should I put them in categories? Should I put them in categories? Mm -hmm. What did I ask? You asked, uh, you, uh, you asked, um, uh, 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 Sure. Uh, should I, should I put them in categories? Should I put them in categories? You asked, uh, if you can put it in categories. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's pretty close. It's not uh, if uh, if I if I could, but if I should. Yeah. But you, it's, as far as the arrangement is concerned, uh, and it's actually the same meaning, a little bit different. 
could and should are a little different than me, but but, uh, but that's not a bad paraphrase. I would understand you, uh, nevertheless. Oh, oh, oh. I just forget to make a Uh, Oh, oh, the nail. Oh, you know, I hate that. Oh, I hate that feeling. Oh. Hey, Ms. Hoffa. Uh, oh, are you, um, oh, yeah. How about this? You just report what I'm going to say, okay? Um, how spontaneous is your little brother? What did I ask? Maybe a little distracting. Hang on, let's do this. Yeah. There we go. Mr. Bocker, don't manipulate. Wait, I already closed that. Right? Okay. Uh, do you use rote memorization? Do you use rote memorization? What did I ask? What did I say? Do you use rote memorization? Do you use rote memorization? Yes, you do. I use. Uh, rote memorization. Rote memorization. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. If I use that was that was the part to, to remember. That's good. And the um, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> sorry. I know y'all are fasting. Sorry if I no, it's it's so good. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Hopsa. Um, I tried. I tried to put a stop to this. I tried to put a stop to this. What did I say? Yeah, you mm, mm, try to put a stop to that. Okay, that was just a statement. Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's past tense. Even better would be, uh, even better, uh, tried is past tense. So no, let's see if we can, your statement is fine for a conversation. But I tried yesterday to put a stop to this. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's even better. That's even better. Yeah. Past tense changes to past perfect. All right, Mrs. Sarah. Um, is this is this animal endangered? You're just sitting next to me, so I. Okay. Is this animal endangered? Is this animal endangered? Animal in danger. 
Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, you, very, you were very close to the beginning. Uh, is this animal in danger? And you can say he. An animal can be he or she. That's fine, too. Uh, is uh, this animal in danger?
Beautiful. That's great, great. All right, Miss Perry. Um, uh, have you gotten rid of it? 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 Oh, to get rid of means to throw away. Good ones here. Let me pull it up now. Oh. Ah. 
I've got some right here. Uh, it. All right. It. <laughs> if you could, if you could commit any crime, and get away with it, what would you do? Why? I don't. That's a silly question. Oh, fair enough. That's nice to say. Because uh, Olga's like, that's a dumb question. I, there is a dumb question. You're right. You're right. Hang on. Uh, let me try a better one. Right, right. Okay. If you could have... <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, if you could hear what someone else is thinking for at least one day, who would you choose? Yeah. So, uh, same question I gave Sarah there. I think I would be able to Okay, well, let's try that again. Um, if you could, he if you could hear what someone else was thinking for one day, uh, who would you choose and why? And if I could hear what someone else is thinking about, I would choose Olga Merkel. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, hadn't thought about it. That's that, that's a nicely constructed sentence. Not bad. Both of them, uh, both of those answers were great. Ms. Uh, Perry. Um, if you could meet any famous person, dead or alive, uh, yeah, uh, you're alive, but the person is either dead or <laughs> okay. Um, who would you choose to meet, and why? Hmm? Yeah. The Gracie. That's you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's actually. I can't think of his real name. Well, that's okay. I just think about the idea. If you could meet any person. Uh, famous, that's famous. Dead or alive, who would you meet and why? Is it Gracie or? Yeah, it's Gracie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, just it imagine. Ask me the, uh, stands back in the apothecary? No, no. no oh, oh, I see. No, no. I, try, we're just uh, talking about an imaginary. Uh, if I were a boy, if I, if oh heaven yeah, wasn't so far. Okay, okay yeah. Say, sure, sure. I, I can ask you a different question. Because I, I was like, hey. If you could speak any other language besides English, what language would you like to speak and why? If I could speak any other language, mm -hmm. probably I would speak French. Yeah, why is that? It's cool. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. I hadn't thought about that very much. Fair enough. If I could speak any other language, other than I would. Oh, that's fine. If I spoke. No, no, you said it right. If I could speak, I, yeah, if um, I could speak in English. That's right. Or, uh, you're right. I, if I if spoke, you don't have could in there, it would be if I spoke. Uh, the imaginary present tense. You're right. But uh, the could is a modal, yeah, so it has to be in base form. Yeah, so you said it fine. Um, hey, uh, Mr. Bacher, last question. All right. If you could travel back in time, like a time travel, mm -hmm. uh, if you could travel back in time, uh, what place in history would you travel to? Uh, what, what time in history would you travel to? Hmm? Okay, that sure, if you could travel back in time, if you had a time machine, mm -hmm. what time of history would you travel to? Uh, if I have a time machine, yeah. um, I, would, I would travel to um, dinosaurs. Okay. Dinosaur, uh, to the to the time, okay, I would travel to the time of dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why, why? To see what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> you would be there, you the would live for about five or six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay.